This was an extremely controversial issue, and despite that, the council voted 5-2 in favor of that telephone poll. At a packed meeting Wednesday night, the residents of Pacific Grove were unified. Quietly raise your hand if you're here to support this appeal, meaning no cell tower at this school or any other school in PG. And I know there's quite a few people in the hallway that... But despite the unified support, council voted against the community. The decision ends a four-month-long battle between parents in Pacific Grove and Verizon Wireless. Verizon wants to put a cell tower near Pacific Grove High School to provide better coverage for the students. But parents say the poll is too close for comfort. This location is straight up insulting. Despite most parents' concern about the possible health risks of having a cell phone tower so close to their kids, Verizon said there isn't enough evidence to prove the parents' claims. They also argue that under Section 253 of the Telecommunications Act, a local city may not prohibit the installation of wireless facilities on utility poles on the public right-of-way. And a city specifically cannot deny a utility pole based on health concerns. We understand that the city can't use health hazards to deny the tower, as ludicrous as that is. The S Verizon said the pole is an adequate distance and it will not emit enough radiation to do any real harm. The only way a city or state can deny the placement of a wireless service facility is if there's substantial evidence there was a violation of FCC standards. Monterey recently was able to deny a cell tower based on that, but Pacific Grove City Council said Wednesday and that's not the case here. Um, the science is not robust. And the research that is reported in our report hasn't been replicated. It doesn't meet the standards of replicable research. Now, the lawyers for Verizon Wireless say the reason why Monterey was able to reject their cell, uh, cell tower is because it was placed in a high-risk fire area. The community members of Pacific Grove say they'll continue to fight. They're just not sure where to go from here. Dan Aaron, back to you. All right, very good. All right, thank you, Christopher.